Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys. What is up? This is about to be so exciting. Waiting for some of y'all to get in here and I'm waiting until I see Anna because the two of us are going live because we got 250 of y'all to register to vote, which is so exciting. And uh, we're gonna be uh, baking a little sum sum. So let me get Anna up in here and then we shall bake. I was so nervous. You couldn't find <laughs> me, but you found me. We're here. We're oh here. My I almost accepted it holding the knife, and I was like, that's, oh. that's threatening. Would have been nice. Guys, welcome yeah. to the kitchen. Welcome to our kitchen. Well, it's already 10,000 degrees in my kitchen because I got nervous and preheated the oven, and now I'm essentially in a sauna. Mm. I've got doors and windows open to uh, avoid that because I'm in a sweatshirt and it's okay. freeze out. So. so one of us is smart and the other one is ready to go. <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> okay, full <laughs> disclosure. Also, I already messed this up because it's supposed to have been rising. Oh, should we say what we're making? Oh, duh. Yeah, we probably should. <laughs> okay, guys. Chef's kiss. We're making a focaccia garden. Ooh. Ooh. So if you guys have seen season one of Dickinson, you'll know the connection, the tie-in to bread. Bread making, bread baking. Um, and I feel like this was like a thing at the start of quarantine. And you even did it at the start of quarantine, right? I did, with a lot of help. I would actually say I served as more um, the artistic director of the focaccia garden. Got it. But this was this was a new experience with the dough. Um, but yeah, I love that that's one of our true facts on the show is that Emily actually was an incredible bread baker. Not something I share in common with her. Just like you. That's why you got the role. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I made one of these in quarantine, but I admit I had a lot of help with the dough. So I didn't know that it was supposed to have risen before. So okay. mine is the flat as a pancake. Okay, well, <laughs> not to toot my horn, <laughs> but I did know that it rise. So we're looking pretty good here. Okay. Absolutely. That's why she's Emily, guys. That's why she's Emily. Listen, I've been stressing about this for a few days now, so I'm just going to go ahead and pat myself on the back that I've made it this far. So. Um, okay, question. Yes. What do you have to decorate with? I have some dill. I have some peppers. I have some rosemary. I have other things <laughs> that all look the same. Okay, I am working with some parsley. Cute. I got a little parse. Time. Uh, okay, the world's absolute smallest eggplant you've ever seen. I'm topping. Um, some olives. Cute. Oh, olives is such a good call. Some cherry tomatoes. And peppers that I don't know the name of, but I was at my parents' house today and they have them. Um, look how cute they are. They look like Christmas ornaments. Oh my god, cute! Apparently they taste like absolutely nothing. Great. It's a little spicy. It's a little, okay, so it does taste like something. Who told you it tasted like nothing? <laughs> Cause, oh. That's me. Oh, it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. I'm washing my hands, people. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm good. That's exactly how I want to start. Okay, I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on mine. Okay, right, let me get that. Olive oil coming up. Oh, olive oil. About how much are you, did you poke the, 
I I tried, but since mine's flat, everything was just kind of like. Okay, so we're supposed to poke these little. My sleeves up, y'all. Okay. Wow, that pepper is still leaving me with a little, little flag. Okay. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do you the favor of showing you the app. Ooh, see, it's sliding. What are you doing? Poking those, poking those holes. It's sliding? Um, it is. If it's on some olive oil? I don't know. Right. How many are we doing? I think I'm doing too many. Holes? In mm -hmm. Valleys? Valleys. <laughs> you know, reservoirs. Okay. Great. I'm gonna just give it like a hefty. Hefty what? Absolutely. Um, I would call it a hefty drizz. Hefty drizz. All right. I'm with it. Wow, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so glad this many people registered or checked their res registration. That is awesome. So good. And obviously why we're here, if you are just tuning in and don't know, um, the link in my bio, and I believe your bio still as well, right, is there and can be there. If you have not registered to vote yet, go click that link, register to vote. You can even check your registration because maybe you moved since the last time you were registered, or maybe you were in college and now you're home, whatever it is, check it. You can double check it. Um, okay, do you have a concept? Do you have a decorating concept? I do. Ooh, you have a plan? I do. I have a plan. I'm going to be spelling out a word. All right. And she tells me nothing. What? She tells me nothing. You didn't warn me. What word? Yes. Just think about it. Think about it. Think about uh, what we're here talking about and to do. Okay. Don't say it. Just think about it. Think about it. And before, when we're done, I will ask you again. Okay. Um, everyone watching, guess what word I am going to be designing into my bread? I have it on the tip of my tongue. Great. <laughs> Stick it. Um, I will be open about it. I wanted to try to make a cat in honor of Lavinia. Stop. We're going to see how it goes because I have, I'm flying blind. I have no plan. <laughs> Um, but I feel like plan, though. what are you talking about an olive for an eye feels like a natural place to start wait I just want to show you how beautiful all of this looks Oof. okay absolutely this is what we're, we're pulling from wow that looks gorgeous to me I took a picture because I just couldn't resist Oh, flying person. Cat eye so far. <laughs> Starting strong. It looks like a ghost. It right now absolutely looks like a ghost. This is actually deranged. <laughs> I feel haunted by that. Okay. All right. I'm going to say... Um, okay, wait. Also... Uh, I wrote down some of the incredible questions that you guys had for uh, Haley during this during this extravaganza. I have them, you know, on a little notebook in honor of Dickinson. <clears throat> um, so while we decorate, I'm going to ask you a few. Uh, first, this was my favorite. First one is: Is it pronounced poem or poem? Somebody, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Poem or poem? Or poem. I don't even know, one, how to answer this, or two, where to begin, uh, as far as explaining what this even means. Um, were we in a table read, or were we shooting when we heard that for the first time? I actually think it made it into the show. Oh, fully, fully. <laughs> wow. Okay, so... Toby Haas, who plays Mr. Dickinson, um, made a very brilliant, conscious decision um, of 
I don't even I don't even know where this came from. I don't even know how. But uh, you know, you see uh, P O E M and you think poem. Cool poem. Pretty straightforward word. Uh, but but Toby turned it into a poem, and um, I don't remember hearing it for the first time. But I just remember absolutely losing my mind. I and think I I think it was during a table read because it was like a serious scene. He was like, "You wrote this poem," <laughs> and we. All Started cracking up. Moment, like if I had water in my mouth, it ended up on the other end of the room. Like I lost it. It was so good. And then from then on out, anytime anyone said poem, it was no longer poem. It was poem. And um, Ernest serious uh, moment set, and everyone went poem. poem. Okay. Also, eggplant cat ears. You what? <gasps> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was my first, my favorite, and shout out to the person whose question that was, because you're, you're paying attention, and I love that about you. Um, okay, another one that I liked, which I thought about my own answer for, and I, I cannot figure it out. If you could play a different character on the show, what would it be? Um, ooh. Whoa. Honestly. I mean, Lavinia is honestly like my favorite part of the show, but I don't think I could do it half as good as you do it. So I feel like I can't do that. Um, damn, you thought about it too and you don't know? I thought about it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say whoever would cast me in this role would um, lose their job. But I'd like to play Dev. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. I'd like, I'd like to be in that carriage. I'd like some ghost horses. Um, I think it would have the same impact, you know, when people are like, oh, my God, they have such an interesting actor cast as, De as Jeff. Um, I feel like Wiz Khalifa and I kind of carry the same weight in the world. So I'd say Jeff. But there are a lot of good ones. I also, <laughs> I also was thinking about... Um, uh, actually. I like, I love the Jane, Abby, Abaya, Toki, Toshiaki group, and I sometimes on set, like, kind of wish I was in that group because they all are actually friends. And so I feel like I, like, come over and sit by them, and I'm like, hey, guys. Hey, guys. So maybe one of them. All also based on real people. Um, guys, I'm working on some time whiskers. You, this is, and you had no plan, okay. I'm telling you, I'm flying blind. Also, like, it's looking really sad and weird. Hold on. It's sad? What are you talking about? I'm... <laughs> There's something about that cat that is odd. Listen, the best of us are. <laughs> um, okay, that's a question because Emily and Lavinia collectively had a ton of animals. Are you, if you had to identify as a cat or dog person? Oh, dog, hello. I love cats, but I, I'm a dog, dog person for sure. But I identify with, um, they're so hard to get and I feel like I understand the challenge. Being like, I will make you love me. Of cats? Yeah. Fair enough. I get that. I understand that. I won't say no to a little Jace. Um, okay. Here's a nice one. How, what is one way that you're similar to Emily and one way that you're different? Uh, I am not known for my bread or skills. <laughs> okay. Um, that's one of the things about us that is different. Um, but I would say one thing that is similar is her, 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 like her drive and her determination and her ability to just shut everything off around her and focus on the one thing that she loves and the one thing that makes her feel alive. Um, and one thing I think is so funny, and I've talked to Elena about this since, you know, we've, been in quarantine and I think you even you and I have talked about how weirdly similar our show and Emily's life is to this kind of new 
world that we're living in and this new life we're all sort of adjusting to in being sort of in isolation and and um being forced to sort of self-isolate and being in this world that she chose to be in when a lot of us are just like ready to break free and um you know not live this way if that makes sense um but yeah i don't know i do love that she has the ability to just kind of like put herself in a certain place and just thrive, you know? Yeah, a poem queen. A poem queen. Yeah, no, and she really, like all of these activities that have become so popular in quarantine were things that she clearly did all of the time because she just was so, since she spent so much time at home. And I will say there's like been, there's been something really meditative and nice in learning to do stuff like this. Um, I say like really seriously as I'm like trying to do the border of this cat bocaccia. No. <laughs> I, can't figure out, I can't figure out how to do the mouth is the problem. And like where- Do you need me to step in? Not that I can help you. Yeah, like what would you use to make a mouth? Hmm. Um, it's a predicament. It's something to think about. Can't you just, can't you just uh, take a little, hmm, list off your ingredients again? Do you have something you can make a little line out of and then like a little tongue? I feel like olive is probably my best bet. Oh, a tongue. A little tongue. Okay. Um, okay, this is a classic question, but I actually don't know. I feel like I should have asked you this already and I... Don't know the answer. What was your favorite scene to shoot? Okay, I was gonna ask you this too, and I'm really curious. Um, my favorite scene to shoot, probably, wow. Uh, probably an episode seven, I believe, uh, where Emily goes to the circus. Um, that whole, that whole, uh, bit sort of leading up to the circus and coming out of it. Um, basically the whole episode, no. Uh, I really love, I really love the whole, how the dynamic between Emily and, and Mr. Dickinson like completely shifts there. Um, and I just love that moment, especially I think my favorite part of it is when Emily comes sort of out of and back from the circus and she's in her room and Sue walks in and she says, I went to the circus and it's, pretty great and I think my dog is chewing on a shoe but that's okay because she's what am I gonna do you know you know that makes sense that episode's amazing and actually that so I have like dual answers one is I just loved in the party scene that we were in the party episode that we were all together because that was pretty early in shooting and we hadn't had a lot where we were just all in the same room so like the getting the just having everyone that was I just remember being so pumped but the other one which was also fun fact um one of the audition scenes for Lavinia is that scene um is or no that's not the circus episode it's the one before but um, the election episode when Lavinia has a sleepover with her friends and they're talking about voting yes. for it um, I didn't even say it thinking about that but also is obviously uber uber relevant because they couldn't vote so they were just kind of gossiping at a sleepover about what they would do if they had that right and what's very cool is that we all have those rights now Liddy. um and we should all use them and vote absolutely but i thought that writing was so so smart because i think about all the time how how before before people were enfranchised to vote, how much it must have been on their minds. And I loved that it, that Edward had this assumption that the girls were just kind of talking about something silly and then they're having just as a serious conversation as the men downstairs. Right. It is a good one. I mean, it's so true how you're right. I mean, we have these rights now and it's so, it's so exciting, I think, to be a part of the conversation now. I mean, you and I have been talking about it for a while and it's so great to see so many people, the 250 that registered to vote just through our link in our bios and everybody just getting ready and getting excited and understanding how important it is. Um, and 
if you haven't registered to vote, register to vote. And if you've registered to vote, make sure you vote. Um, have a voting plan. Get ready. Know exactly where you have to be, when you have to be there. Voting is already underway um, in some states. So if you can vote early, vote early. Um, just do it, people. It's happening. And it's, tr it's definitely tricky this year because there's a handful of different ways that you can do it. There are a ton of resources out there. I'll definitely post some on my Instagram, but you can vote by mail. You can vote early in person. You can vote on the day in person. Options on options, but you're absolutely right. Having a plan is super important. Checking in with your friends if they've done it is super important. Your families. Um, and also, it's so exciting and cool to do and I, I it's so silly but I love the I voted stickers because I always feel like a true surge of joy after I vote and it feels like you just like slap you know it's so true it's so true okay yeah. how's your uh how's your focaccia looking oh yeah no it's um I'm I'm pretty much there I I can't lie I'm Super about it. Got my word spelled out. I want to see if anybody watching can guess the word Ooh. That designed into my focaccia bread. Yeah. Does anybody have any idea? Any idea? Also, Martini wasn't chewing on a shoe. It is, in fact, sponge, like a, a washing sponge. And it's good for you, a sponge, so. so. Um, I don't, see, okay, I see a couple people that may or may not have gotten the word right. Okay, I love whoever thinks it's skirt, because that's a chef's kiss. I don't know why they think that. No, is it really? I don't know why they think, no, it's not. <laughs> Could you imagine? No. No, it's, it's. It's a word, it's a topic, it's a very important conversation. Hey! Vote! Vote! Okay, Haley, that looks actually really good. Okay, so here's the thing, thank you. The true test is if it tastes half decent, okay? Okay, well, well do you have any salt on hand? Oh, you got it, you got it. I'm gonna sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Is it gonna sprinkle? I like them salty. I like it salty. Okay, so you chose a really relevant, really mature, really genius, and I just wanna like say that this is what I'm working with. Listen, okay? It's very, it's still very on theme. <clears throat> For sure. For sure. For sure. I want to know if you have a favorite song from the soundtrack of the show. I don't know why I just bit into another one of these. Am I insane? <laughs> you did not, Anna. Um. Okay. I have one that comes to mind, okay. and I'm not just saying this because I really, really like you. But I do love Afterlife so much. And I love I love the moment it's used in the show. The first time I saw it, I got a chills up and down my body. Um, but but I I think, you know, I love that I, I always think it's so kind of wild that Emily Dickinson thought about thought about death in a way that doesn't seem about seem morbid. It seems like an exploration of what it means to be alive and and love and and I just there's your your song felt so kind of perfectly spooky and sexy and passionate and um, I just and to hear to hear your voice in that way on the show was just so exciting and and you know not all of us knew that it was happening until the moment we saw it which was just like so thrilling but in general I, I really I really do love the soundtrack I have I like to stuck in my head 90% of most days um yeah and I'm so excited about all the music in the future are you saying those four aren't they so gorgeous they're so gorgeous <laughs> I, 
I kind of feel like I look like a devil, but I also kind of feel like a who in Whoville. Ooh. Could go. <laughs> who is kind of Cindy Lou Who? Very. Very Cindy Lou Who. Oh, can't wait for the holidays. Can't wait. I'm going to be cozy with my focaccia. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you so much for doing this. I was so happy to get into the kitchen with you. I mean, I wish it was in person. Hopefully it happens soon. To everyone watching, Anna, you need to post this recipe. I will post the recipe. Because I want to see people make their own version and um, have it ready as a snack for when you go to vote. The lines might be long. Have it ready to go. Okay. Well, if you mail in your vote and then you track it, because you can do that, and you see that it's sent, reward yourself by making an entire focaccia. I mean, I mean. Do it, people. Make the bread. Go and go. Register. And still use the links. The link? Links? In our bio. I love seeing your face. I love you so much. I love you. Bye. Okay. Oh. One of us is a singer. Vote. Love you. Vote.